So the eclipse that I saw was in uh, July of 1973, because that's how old I am. Uh, Joe, what, spend a minute explaining what we mean by families of eclipses and how there can be a series of eclipses that are all related to one another. There is a, there is a, a family or cycle that was known to the ancient uh, Chaldeans and Babylonians thousands of years ago known as the Saros cycle. And what this is is that it's a, there are three different lunar cycles that seem to come together. It's kind of like uh, hitting the jackpot, let's say, on a, on a slot machine. Um, these three cycles involve the uh, position of the moon in its orbit relative to the Earth, whether it's closer or farther away. The lunar month, also known as the synodic month, uh, the, these cycles all come together, and uh, it's called the Saros cycle. Saros means repetition, and eclipses repeat after about 18 years and 10 or 11 and one-third days. That one-third of a day is important, however, because when the eclipse returns after 18-some-odd years, the Earth in that one-third of a day has turned 120 degrees in its uh, rotation cycle, and so while the eclipse is going to return, it will not return to the same part of the world that it was seen 18 years previous. This eclipse coming up, for example, the Great American Eclipse, 18 years ago, 18 years and about 11, year, uh, 11 and a third days ago, that eclipse occurred over Europe. Well, now 18 years later, 18 years and 10 and a third days later, the Earth has turned 120 degrees, so now it's not over Europe. This time it's our turn here in the United States or North America to see that eclipse. And in another 18 plus years, the Earth will turn again one third of a way around. So when the, this eclipse returns in uh, 18 years, that's in the year 2035, it won't be visible over North America. It'll probably be passing over the Pacific Ocean or parts of Asia. But this cycle was known thousands of years ago to the, the, the ancient sky watchers, and they were able to make some pretty good predictions just by knowing about the, re the repetition of this eclipse cycle and being able to uh, uh, anticipate when eclipses were going to occur. So the eclipse that I saw was in uh, July of 1973, because that's how old I am. Okay. Add 18 and two thirds years to that, you get to the 1991 uh, eclipse. eclipse. Yeah, so that all works out. 